Hale and welcome everyone to this week's episode of Midgard Musings. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching tonight, or today, or this morning, wherever it is that you may be in this part of Midgard. Uh, my name is Jesse and I'm the host here on this channel. I upload new content every week, usually on Sunday nights, and uh, to talk about various Norse heathenry related subjects, things that may strike my interest or fancy at the time. There's also um, a whole bunch of series type uh, videos that I have if you go to the playlist section of the channel you will see a uh, Bragi's Corner series, which is like a storytelling series. I deliver my own twists and view on some of the poetic, uh, you know, sagas, things of the, you know, poems and things from the poetic edda, stuff like that. Um, there's also a deity discussion series wherein I pick a specific deity to focus on for that episode. So there's all kinds of cool content, guys. Check it out. Uh, check out all the videos. If you like them, please give them a thumbs up. If you don't, give me a thumbs down, give me some constructive feedback. I'm always open and willing to hear what you guys think about what I upload here. Um, and if you don't want to miss anything, when you become a subscriber, please click the bell notification, the little gray bell icon that you see. If you click it, you will be notified every time I upload new content. So today's uh, discussion is going to be on the concept of good and evil from a heathen view, um, how... Some heathens um, may view the concepts of good and evil out here. Um, and let me just say right up front that nothing that I upload here on the, on the channel is designed or a representation of the entire worldview of heathenry. That would be ludicrous for me to even try and claim that, okay? This is largely my view, things that I've come to learn, what I've read and discovered in my own learnings. So what you guys offer in the comment section below helps me learn, helps all of us learn, and we encourage that here on this channel, so please uh, take what I say with that in mind and offer your insight. Um, so the concept of good and evil, or the nature of good and evil. Um, you know, so we have terms like good, evil, right, wrong. You know, um, these may be terms that we just kind of toss around loosely nowadays. We maybe may, maybe even take them uh, a bit for granted, um, just because of their you know, free use, you know, uh, that's good, that's wrong, that's evil, you know what I'm saying? What, what we tend to look at is things that are uh, morally upright, you know, as things that are good, and that which is opposite of that as evil or wrong, you know? Um, and that's kind of a textbook definition, if you will, or a dictionary uh, definition, if you will, um, for those terms, you know, that which is good, which would be considered that which is morally upright, um, that which is evil to be that which is morally uh, reprehensible, or things that go against moral uh, values, right? There's nothing necessarily that says that that is incorrect or against what we would all deem as good or, or evil or, or right or wrong, right? Um, but one of the things that we as heathens uh, are... are a lot of us are, are, are doing nowadays is we are, we are revisiting or, I don't want to say resurrect or reconstruct, because not all of us are reconstructionists. We're, we're, we're taking an old way. We're taking a very ancient pathway. We're taking a very ancient folk way and applying it to ourselves now as in, in modern times. Uh, so we look to the elder heathen or the arch heathen worldview as we know it and as we are able to discover it and as we're able to learn about it and apply it to ourselves um, now as modern heathen. So a lot of this, you know, you know, people may look at one thing as being good and somebody else may look at it as being not good or wrong and then somebody else doesn't necessarily think that it's wrong. So where, where is the line drawn? Where is the definition sort of laid for heathens? All right, so what we're going to talk about today is, you know, the essence of, uh, I did a video a while ago, which I will link in an annotated card. You'll see it up in the uh, top corner um, of the video. Um, about Inengard and Utengard, and the, the concept of what those things are in the, in the Archethan worldview. Inengard being your inner yard, your inner circle. Utengard being that which is outside of that, the wild. Um, so when we talk about good and evil in an Archethan worldview, um, we're talking about things that were good or suitable or fitting. Right? When, we, when we speak of things that are good, we're talking about things that are suitable or fitting um, or beneficial to what is within the inn guard and with being the inn and guard being the society where the tribe dwells um, 
where the larger where, where the community sort of assembles the, the closest inner part of that community right what is good would be what would be considered as being beneficial to the betterment or the survival of the Imangar, the, the tribe, if you will. Um, and that which is wrong or that which is evil, that which is not good, okay, would be that which is deemed as um, reprehensible or not good or not beneficial to the tribe. And I forgot to light the candle, so if you guys give me just a minute, let's go ahead and get this thing going. I forgot to do it last week. Don't want to miss it this week. Let me go ahead and get this thing going. I apologize for jumping the gun on that. That is something that we usually do here um, on the channel. We light, some, we light a candle and we light... Uh, some incense, so apologize for uh, for jumping the gun there, but um, anyways, we've got that going now. So back to the whole thing, you know, um, the 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 conception or the, or the idea of that which is good and evil kind of appears, uh, you know, to have been expressed in a what like I said, what is beneficial to the society, um, if not necessarily what is an overall you know, like how we have nowadays, you know, just laws, laws of the land, laws that sort of deem what is good or what isn't. Um, it was a little bit different back then. You know, law um, was something that, trying to get that, there we go, the incense to burn. Uh, the law, the thu of, of the tribe, of the, of the, of the society, um, was something that was considered as beneficial for that society. Not necessarily something that was beneficial to everyone in the world, because who were they to know? How did they know what was beneficial for outside of themselves, right? They were, they were mostly and mainly concerned uh, for themselves. And that's where I think we as heathens nowadays uh, should be concerned for. You know, I, I think that there's a lot of concern um, for things outside of our own what are you going to call it, the Inangara, or our, our, our own society. We, we look at things that we see, whether it's on the news or whether it's on social media. We all have our opinions, we all have our voice, and we all like to speak our peace and speak our minds on things that are, you know, what we feel is good or what we feel is wrong or evil. Um, and, and the truth of the matter is, is that while we have our feelings, while we have our opinions as to why we may think something is good or why we think some things are evil or wrong, it's, it's, it's very hard for us to say what that is for a society that we are not a part of, for, for a culture that we are not a part of. Um, so I'm guilty of it. I think we all are. We like to see things online. We like to see, you know, certain things that we just look at and we go, oh, that is horrible. That is awful. That is, that is wrong. It's evil. And while, yes, I agree that there are very, there are very specific things, you know, um, things that we can all determine that no matter what culture you are a part of, no matter what society you are a part of, certain things are just downright wrong, you know. Um, it, it does not benefit any society, you know, to attack children, kill children, you know, assault and, and murder and, and, and violate innocent people, things like that, you know, things that you can just look at and say that does not benefit a society at all. Um, other things may be subject to the, you know, culture of the, or the society in which uh, things are happening that we just don't have an understanding of. So, um, and then, you know, and another thing is, is that I think that, and again, this is all my personal view, a lot of, a lot of the times I think that it, it goes back to just how simpler times were hundreds, maybe thousands even of years ago during the times of our ancestors and, you know, during the arch heathen times as we would call it. Uh, things were a whole lot simpler. Things were the world seemed a lot smaller, you know, back then. They didn't have eyes um, outside um, of their immediate area, um, at least not in the same way that we do now. And um, you know, so their views on things, that their what was good for society, what was good was was what they knew. You know, so if it was you know the things that we know nowadays, we have a lot more information. We have a lot more knowledge, you know, things have progressed, you know, humanity has progressed, society uh, itself has progressed um, over time. And, uh, you know, so again, what is, what is good for your society as deemed as law, um, we see that even now. Some things are lawful in certain parts of the world um, or not lawful in certain parts of the world. 
um, and vice versa. You know, we have things that are you know, like, uh, for instance, let's just let's just talk about an example. For instance, I would say, you know, in the United States where where I live, uh, there are certain states, certain areas that have allowed it to be lawful and good and beneficial for the society of that area to allow the sale and use of recreational uh, the recreational use of marijuana, right? Uh, just as an example, other states do not uh, deem that as lawful or good or beneficial to its society. What those reasons are, why they've de you know deemed it appropriate or right or good, whatever you want to call those terms, that is going into things that are probably a bit more political at this point, which is not what we're talking about. But as a sort of example, you know, uh, certain states that have deemed it good and beneficial for their society to allow that to be uh, acceptable, uh, whereas others don't. So again, you, we're, we're getting into some things that may or may not be relevant, but it's kind of one of those examples that I, I tend to think about. Um, you know, so that which is suitable for society um, can also be identified as that which maintains it, right? It, it's kind of what benefits, it, it's what upholds the citizens of that society. Um, so again, that's all, I think, relevant to that specific society. Um, and culture is another thing that we tend to get wrapped up in, especially nowadays, I see. Culture, society, you know, a lot of people, uh, we're, we're seeing a lot of um, groups come up days that are trying to be uh, displaying themselves as heathen or, or pagan communities, focusing very strongly on culture, you know. And while I do not have any problem with knowing your, you know, the, the, the roots where you come from, um, without having any, you know, I, don't, I don't have any problem with that. Um, it, it, it tends to carry over into some very treacherous areas, very hate-filled areas. People who want to feel that they are culturally superior um, from others because of where their ancestry um, comes from or where their roots are, you know, based out of, you know. Um, that's where I feel like we're getting into, into dangerous parts. That's where the good and evil things kind of make themselves known. If you think that your culture is superior in any way and that you need to separate or segregate or, you know, feel like you're a supreme being as a human species um, because of your cultural heritage, um, that is getting into things that does not support a heathen worldview because if you you want to get into, um, uh, you know, some evidence of things. Um, I think it was uh, even Fadlan in the, in, in the land of darkness. Um, the, the Rus, the people that he encountered, they were not hateful against him from being an outsider or being a different race or a different culture than him. They, for what we can tell, you know, welcomed him um, and, and learned from him and, and, and he learned from them and that sort of thing. You know, so there was no, there was no reason for us, there's no reason for us to believe now, and there was no reason for the arch at the time, um, from where we draw a lot of this information from, there's no reason to believe that they felt that there was um, something good or, you know, better for their society to be separate from another society or from a separate, or from a different culture. There was a lot of cultural blending, you know, a lot of trading, a lot of mutual exchange of goods and services and all types of things, knowledge, you know, this isn't something that we uh, should believe as, as, as being something that is exclusive to a certain culture. I feel that it's an all-inclusive thing. Um, we're maybe getting a little bit off the subject of good and evil. That may be something that we can talk about on another time, but, you know, the, the basis of, of what I'm talking about is that, you know, sometimes we look at certain things that are um, just morally reprehensible, you know, morally just, you, you can't make any sense of how or why that would be good for a society. And for the most part, I think nowadays that would probably be true. But it's not the same as, you know, uh, like I was saying earlier, I might have mentioned it in the video, but in the intro, you know, the, the, the difference between some of us are coming from a, 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 another religious background. You know, myself, I come from a Christian background growing up. A lot of folks that are watching this probably have as well. 
you know, you're going to run into some people that are like, well, there's, you know, good and evil is a Christian thing. You know, um, you don't, we don't, we don't believe in good and evil. It's, you know, what's good or bad. And it, it's not good and evil in the same ways as the, a Christian uh, doctrine would, would believe it is good as being what is of their God and evil being as what is against their God is, you know, the, uh, the, the arch heathen view that it, what was good is what was beneficial to society and what was evil or what was wrong, if it had those words, things that are roots of that word, um, was that which just did not benefit society, uh, their particular society, you know? So, for instance, you know, if it benefited society for a chieftain to have f f three, four, five, you know, women uh, as his wives uh, to build the society through offspring and, and to have children to continue the society on and other cultures or other societies may look at that and say well that's wrong he's a you know he's he's a you know a fornicator or you know something you know, other other cultures would look at that and say that that was wrong obviously in that time and for that uh, era it was not it, it benefited the society because it was about it was about everyone working together you know it was it was a community based thing this is kind of the root or the backbone of heathenry Community is at is at its core. Um, without community, you don't have tribe. Um, so that that organic growth from community to tribe starts with the building of individuals. So in the time of Archethans, you know, if you had a man who was to have multiple wives, it was for the the betterment or for the growth of the population of that society. Then it would be good and therefore upright or beneficial for that for that you know, uh, society. Um, so guys, there is my view on good and evil. I don't, I don't look at things nowadays. Um, uh, you know, like I said before, there, there are certainly very, you know, very specific things that we can look at that would be just downright wrong, downright evil that wouldn't benefit any society in any sense of the word, uh, for things, for certain things to exist. Um, but I don't, I, I don't necessarily look at specific individual moves, specific individual actions, um, as that is good, that is evil, that is good, right or wrong. Um, it's like, hey, if, if it's beneficial for the tribe, if it's beneficial for the society at large, you know, um, that's just kind of my view. And I'm anxious to hear what you guys have to think and what you guys have to say. So leave your comments down below. I'm anxious to hear what you have to say about it. Tune in next week. On Sunday, we're going to be doing another deity discussion series. And next Sunday, uh, we're going to be talking about Freyr. I feel like it's a great time of year since the springtime is coming, at least in this part of the world. Uh, in the United States, you know, the, the warmer weather is coming. We're all thinking about possibly uh, getting out and starting our gardens, um, tilling up the land, getting things ready for that sort of action. And um, I think Freyr would be a great uh, deity to discuss uh, for our next discussion on that series. So, um, tune in next week. Um, that will be uploaded next Sunday night. And uh, if you want to, like I said, donate and help the channel continue doing what I'm doing, uh, if you go down into the description box below, you will see a PayPal link. Uh, any donations are appreciated. It just helps things out. Um, there's the Facebook page that you guys can click on to like and follow. Uh, please become a subscriber. You'll see it all pop up here in the end screen um, and all the other related content that you can click on Give those videos a like if you like and let me know what you guys think. I appreciate everyone's support. Everyone that's watching live here on Facebook, please don't go anywhere so I can see what your thoughts and opinions are on this subject matter. So thank you all again so much for watching tonight's episode of Midgard Musings. Hail, and I'll see you all in the next video.